Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look at the Kuat Grip Snowboard and Ski Carrier for four skis or two boards here on our 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness. So this is going to be your premier snowboard and ski carrier here at eTrailer.com. The reason for that, we're getting a lot of amazing features. The looks alone on this guy I think speak for itself and we are getting just a few unique little things about it that really start setting it apart from the rest. The big one for me is going to be the ability for this actually to slide out and out of the way, making it a lot easier to get your snowboards and your skis here on the roof of your vehicle. Now today we are working with 59 inch crossbar, so I got a little bit of overhang here and if I wanted to, I could move this a little bit further out, but not everybody is going to have aftermarket factory bars. If you do have factory bars, you're probably going to be more inset here on your raised rails and that's where I think the grip's going to be even more important because a lot of times we'd have to be reaching over our Subaru. It is nice. I don't want to be scratching up with anything on my pants or anything. Don't have to open my door all the time to get up and mount on top of my roof. This way it makes it a lot easier just to pop you guys like so. Utilize these little latches. Now one thing I will say here today on our raised rail, I have to kind of account for my bindings and that's one thing about this slide out that we kind of have to compensate for. So my taller bindings here, I just flipped up. If you want to get another board stacked on this guy, might be a little harder to actually get this to slide out. Albeit, you could just lift it while it's going over your raised side rails and it does work out pretty well that way. But that makes it a lot easier to grab our skis, to grab our boards, start getting them loaded up, and then start loading them into place, which is great. Now we are gonna have a 165 pound weight capacity with this guy, so I think we're gonna be really hard pressed to get that maximum potential that we're allowed to have. And I think it's gonna do a great job of getting our boards there. Now these teeth are very unique. A lot of times all you're seeing is two little rubber pieces that are compressing on themselves. What I like about this guy makes it a lot easier to actually stay in place. It's not going to be shifting on our carrier, let alone it just does a great job of actually clamping onto our boards and our skis. So we got our snowboards and our ski on there right now. I'm just going to bring this guy down. You can see even in the back there, it is kind of accounting for our thickness of our board. So taller in the back, accounting for that and making sure we can still clamp on here on the end, which is great. And I really, really like how this system works for two reasons. This open hole is great for if you do have the ability to use your fingers. And if you just had a little glove or mitt on, you can still kind of unlatch it just like that, get it up out of the way, which is awesome. And one thing I really, really like, you have two ways of locking this. So right here in the front, this becomes excellent to prevent this from popping up. Here on the side, you actually have the ability of completely locking it, which is great. But why I like this quick lock, right? We can come down, get our boards loaded back up, quickly latch it, quick lock it. And then when I get back to the top or wherever I might be in, right before I jump on, I can unslot those, don't have to worry about my key, and then get that off. And that makes sure that our carrier isn't gonna be walking out. If we hit a bump or anything, I'm not worried about this flying off. I really do like to see that. And secondly, each one of our foot pads is also gonna have a lock. And that's all gonna be key to like, making sure that our boards and our skis, they attach to our carrier, and our carrier stays attached to our vehicle when we leave it unattended. So our Kuat grip is going to be made of aluminum and plastic elements, making it really resistant to any kind of corrosion we're going to be experiencing. And of course, as we have that snow melt on there, we want something that's going to be lasting us for the years to come. And overall, I really do like the clean look here of the grip. And again, I think those features really just speak for themselves. Really do like how this guy works. Let's go ahead and grab our snowboards and our skis and start taking a closer look at our carrier. Now that we have our snowboard and our ski removed, I want to go ahead and go over a few dimensions here. So with our carrier all the way extended to the top here, you are going to have a necessary height of 14 and about one quarter inches there. Now that can be important if you are in a garage somewhere trying to load up. If you do have a low hanging garage, that might make it a little harder for yourself, but hopefully you have the pretty good idea now from the top of your own crossbar at home. And you are going to have about 30 inches here from your back end to your front. So do keep that in mind. And that can be important when you're trying to get a bunch of accessories on the roof. You can see here, we do have room on the other side for a little bit of accessory, something like maybe uh, a Yakima Skinny Warrior. Um, that's gonna be a cargo basket that's just a little bit smaller, really not too much room. I will say the grip takes up quite a little bit of room here, especially if we are on like factory bars, you really would see a kind of a push into the inside of that. So that can be something to kind of watch out for. And for your inside usable length here. Let me go ahead and just 
eye it out. Yep, that's gonna put us right at about 22 and really not even a half inch there, a quarter inch on that inside. I would call it just a comfortable 22 inches as well. And that can be important of making sure that our width of our boards and our skis are actually gonna fit on here. So how is this actually mounted onto our crossbars? Well, we have our rubber coated metal strip here that simply goes underneath your crossbar, latches into this side and starts securing. Here on this side, we do have a little insertment. It does come with a hex wrench, so we can actually tighten this up. And we're just tightening that band in place and bringing ourselves to the other side, we can actually see our quick release lever here. That's actually what's pulling that up. Just simply sits right in there and that latch cinches it down. And of course, you do have your locking cord to make sure that that's not gonna come undone at all. So really, really do like how that works. And it's not so important here on our Subaru Outback Wilderness because we do have that nice flatter roof. If you were to put this on a different vehicle in the family though, you can see this little bolt right here. I'm gonna use that same wrench and what it allows you to do is actually tilt your carrier just a little bit and that's great for curved roofs, something like a Toyota RAV4 or Prius where you're starting to see a pretty gradual shift or severe shift in your incline. That can be really important and really helpful but again here in the Subaru, not the end of the world. Now, as we saw with that install, really not hard to get on a variety of different bars. As long as, of course, we are staying within four and one quarter of an inch for our width. And that can be something like your big old heavy duty bars that somebody might be putting on here. Um, again, that's probably the biggest issue these guys are gonna run into. That install is really, really simple as we're just going around it and clamping on. So I really do like how that works. Overall, the Quack Grip is an excellent choice. It's the premier snowboard and ski carrier for a reason. We're getting a lot of great features like that slide out, like all of those locks. If you're looking for something that maybe won't break the bank so much, something like the Yakima Fat Cat Evo 4, it, Evo 4 is an excellent option. Pretty much similar things you're seeing here and you do have locking capabilities with that. If you wanna go further more down the line, if you're a little like me and just trying to have some fun without breaking out the purse, uh, one thing you could look at too is gonna to be the Rhino Rack Snowboard and Ski Carrier. Still an excellent device, albeit we're not getting all these cool little features that we are seeing on the grip. And overall, I think that's really what we have to ask ourselves. Do we want that convenience of making this easier to slide out, get our boards and our skis right here ready to go? Well, I'll leave that up to you guys at home. Really do like the grip here, and I think it's an excellent choice for any snowboards and skiers out there. Otherwise, though, I think that about does it for our look here today at the Kuat Grip 4 here on our 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness. I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching.